Good morning, my YouTubian friends. I had somebody ask me, hey, does a bay window bus shifter fit in a bug? I know the answer. But why don't I bring you along? We'll find out together. Let's get over here to the workbench and check it out. We already have the stock shifter out of the car. Two 13 millimeter bolts, and this comes right out. There you go. That's how you remove your shifter. And let's lay it up next to the bay window shifter. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This is basically similar. It's an empty copy of the old Hearst shifter. And as you can tell, my skull knob's already on there. I've already had a little bit of fun, but I had somebody ask for a video regarding this. So let's take the stock shifter, toss it over there. Now, this kit comes with two different size spacers. What these do is they actually, depending on what your application is, moves it up and aligns the shift ball with the shift coupler properly. Yeah, look at that. What I found is a couple years back, I installed one of these empty quick shift couplers that go along with your stock shifter to help make the throw a little shorter. Being tall and long arms and all that, that was actually really nice and comfortable. What I found is this thicker spacer that comes with the kit. And this one, believe it or not, the quick shift, this one here on the left, is actually slightly thicker and puts everything in a really nice position. So let's get in the car. Let's get this installed. Let's see if I can get this in here without you guys falling. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we have some grease down in the shift coupler down in there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put our quick shift coupler in place. Make sure things are lined up-ish. Finally, we take the shifter. We put the shifter in the hole. And then we put the screws in the hole. Get in the hole. There it goes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and snug it up a little bit so we can start getting our shifter position. All right. That's not there yet. Almost there. Oh! Sorry, didn't mean to hit you. All right, what I did there is I put it in second gear, brought the shifter mechanism over and snugged it down. And now we've got nice smooth first, second, third, and fourth. Lift up, over, back. There's your reverse. That's it. Then we'll go ahead and snug everything up, make sure everything's good and, good and tight. Then we'll take it for a ride. What do you think? Yeah, I couldn't help it. Before we go for a ride, let's look at the finished product. Can't help it. That just looks so cool. What do you guys think? You think it's worth it? One person asked me, why'd I do it? Why not? I can. Somebody else bought it. It wouldn't work for their application and what they wanted. Hey, man, you want a shifter? Heck yeah, I do. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, we'll hop in, let's go. First gear. Second. Third. The side to side is really tight, but the throw right here isn't bad.
Can't get much better than that, guys. So comfortable, right at my height. Maybe rat rod style, man, but I tell you what, this is the ticket. So we got neutral. There's neutral, and we come to a stop. Lever up, over, back. There you go. So there's first, second. In order to get reverse, you got to lift the lever over, back. That's what gets you past the reverse lockout. It's that simple, guys. I'm sure this has been done before, but I still needed to check for myself to see if it could be done. I personally really love it. It's comfortable, it's ergonomic. Man, it's just the winning ticket. So anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below. You know the routine, hit the little bell for your notifications. For the new subscribers, thanks for coming along. It's hard saying what kind of weird stuff we're gonna get into around here. Anyway, till the next time, be good.